Hi, Keith Perheck here from Segmetrics. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Sales Dashboard and ConvertKit's Insights tool. Segmetrics and ConvertKit teamed up to deliver this new level of clarity to all ConvertKit Creator Pro users. The Sales Dashboard is all about showing you the money. How much have you earned overall? What's the value of an average order and customer? What are your top products? And what channels, pages, and segments earn you the most money? That's what the sales dashboard can answer for you. Let's dive in. Each insights report is made up of a number of widgets. All the white boxes you see are widgets. Each widget gives you an important data point, graph, table, or data visualization about a key piece of your business. Many of these can be adjusted or filtered to give you even more insight. You'll notice the little I in a circle beside the widget title. You can click any of these to get more information about the data in that widget. If the widget includes a calculation like this one here, you'll find the exact formula in that pop-up as well. You'll also notice this timeline bar at the top right of every insights report. This shows you what window in time the widgets are pulling data from. In this case, our sales dashboard is only looking at sales that happened over the last 30 days. We'll talk more about how to adjust timelines and filter down your data in a separate training video. Now let's walk you through each widget in the sales dashboard. First up, the sales widget. The larger black number shows how many sales you've had during the time window, in this case, the last 30 days. The smaller, lighter gray number shows the number of sales for the previous period. Since we're focusing on the last 30 days, the gray number is showing the number of sales 31 to 60 days ago. You'll also notice the green up arrow in the right corner of this widget. This shows your percentage of change over the previous period. If the change was negative, you'd see a red downward arrow and a negative percentage here. Next is the revenue widget. This widget shows how much money you've earned during that same time window. As before, you can compare this to how much you earned during the previous time period and see the percentage change month over month. In the middle is the average order quantity widget. This widget answers the question, on average, how many items are purchased from my store in a single order? Depending on what type of business you have and how many products you offer, this number could be one or more. Next is the AOV widget. AOV stands for average order value. One of the best ways to grow your revenue without improving your lead gen or conversion rates is by increasing your average order value. The last widget in the top row is the customer value widget. This widget shows you for the given time window how much money each customer is worth on average. This KPI helps you predict how much money you can expect to earn from new customers. Next is the top products widget. This one is simple. What are your top selling products? How many have you sold of each? And how much money have you earned from each? As always, this is only looking at the data within the time window selected on the top right menu on the report. Next, the revenue widget. This data visualization shows your sales within the selected time window and by the cadence selected at the top right of your page, daily, weekly, or monthly. You'll also see that your sales are broken apart by one-time purchases and recurring or subscription purchases. If you have both types, this widget allows you to zoom in and out and find trends in your sales results. Now we come to the revenue by source widget. This widget answers the question, where is my revenue coming from? In the pie chart in the table, we can compare the revenue for each of your channels. The table also includes total purchases and average order values for each of your channels too. Want to compare your revenue sources by the first page your customers ever visited? Click page to update the table and pie chart with this lens. The other drop-down menu allows you to break down your revenue sources in many other ways, including by domain, campaign, and more. The next widget is cool, the product grouping widget. Which of your products are often purchased together? This widget will show you that. You'll see the total sales for each of your products, as well as the overlap for how many people purchased both. If you're thinking about bundling some of your products together or offering some as upsells, you can use this widget to find the products that people are already buying together. The big widget below is the revenue breakdown widget. This buy chart and table enables you to see how much money you're earning within the time window selected from each of your segments. As before, the table will also let you compare the number of purchases and average order value. If you click the up and down arrows, you can sort your segments by any of these values. 
You can click the status button to compare the revenue you've earned from people who are and are not subscribed to your list. The other drop down menu in this widget lets you compare your revenue by any other segment, such as industry, country, state, and any UTMs you might be saving. This is a really powerful widget. What are the hidden sources of revenue in your business? As you use this widget, you may discover that some segments are worth much, much more to your business than others. Sometimes the difference is a little bit shocking. The bottom section in the sales dashboard is the customer profile. It has two widgets in it. The top customer widget shows you which five customers have spent the most money with you over the course of your business. The product chain widget shows you the order that people typically purchase your products in. If they purchase a certain product first, what do they typically purchase next? And next after that. Knowing the order that people usually buy your products in helps you create upsells and follow up offers that drive repeat purchases and boost customer satisfaction. And that's the sales dashboard. This is just one of the four reports included in ConvertKit's new insights tool built in collaboration with Segmetrics. Check out our other insight walkthroughs for tours of the other reports, plus a deep dive into using the timeline and filter tools to get even more granular and additional insights for your business. Thanks for watching.